even though this is several days too late, I wanted to tell the story of um, last Thursday, which was the day that I was doing the ALS challenge. I was filming a different kind of vlog video, and so um, obviously my vlog that day was a bit different, but I had to tell the story. So we're going to tell the story first, but I will edit this in to Thursdays, not Fridays vlog. We were walking to George's grandma's house, and George suddenly said, oh look, there's a, well he just, you just said, oh look. There's and a small kitten. Yeah, there was a tiny little kitten. It's so small, only like the size of your hand. It could stand on the size of your hand. And it was looking, it was in on top of these bin bags next to a bin on, on a road. We were walking along a road. And um, it was just looking at us and like, meow, meow. It was just going, meow, meow. And so we went over to it and there was another one hiding in the bin bags with it about the same size so the one that meowed to us that was it was ginger and white it was so cute such blue eyes and then um, the other one was black and white and they're so pretty so fluffy and the ginger one was so friendly it came over to us and it really wanted to play with my shoes and um, they were it, it was being really friendly but it, there was nothing there they had some moldy pieces of bread with them but there was no mum to be seen there was no sign that there had been any mum there really and so we were thinking, where should we take? We should take them somewhere so they can be looked after. Otherwise, they're going to die here because they, they were right there next to a busy road, and the ginger one was running out onto the road. Um, and then George heard meowing. We, he heard some more mew. I didn't hear it, but he was like, "I think there's another one somewhere." And right behind where these bin bags was, there was a wall, and the other side of the wall that was where the river was. But obviously, there isn't a river at the moment because it's too hot in the middle of the summer. There isn't a river. So on the riverbed, we heard a more mewing, and so George climbed down a tree. It's kind and of difficult to get to the kitten because yeah. she's like we couldn't see her at all. Where was where was she? She was underneath a stone, not trapped though. But like hiding. Hiding, yeah. She was scared. And so this this kitten was even smaller. She was so small and so skinny. He brought her up, and I went round round the other side of the bins. There was a drain that went from from the height where the two kittens were, the drain was just a hole down to the river. And I think maybe she was, because she's quite an adventurous one now, um, she was probably looking around and think she fell down the drain and she oh, got yeah. stuck, which made which made us think that obviously the mum hadn't been back for a while because this, this other kitten was so much, she was probably half the size of the other ones. And so she clearly hadn't eaten recently and, she had, and the mum hadn't rescued her. And you could hear her mewing but she was so small she didn't have enough like skin and body fat to even pick her up she was so shaky and shivering so we anyway we took them to uh, a flower lady in town who, who lives below George's grandmother and she often adopts kittens and um, she takes them in and she looks after them until they're old enough to look after themselves or until someone comes along and will take them to a good home yeah she cleaned them up, she gave them some food, some milk and some water, which they really needed. They were so hungry, especially the small one. But yeah, we rescued three little kittens. That was our good deed for the day. Yeah. But I've never been able to see something so young before because I didn't have cats or dogs or anything. And even they're too, they wouldn't be given away yet. They would still be with the mum, I think. They're that yeah. small. So even if you bought a kitten, it wouldn't be that small, I don't think. So yeah, long story short, we rescued three kittens and yeah, they're really cute. Hello! It is Friday and today is kind of a gloomy day. For some reason, the sun is not shining very much today. And it's kind of cold. It was 21 degrees this morning. And George is having an illness or allergy something attack. So... That's what today has been. Now that we hear you, little bitch, I'm gonna ask you some real simple questions and I want some real simple answers. Are you pulled into the garage and into the house at 9 15? Yes, I believe. I'm not mistaken. You're 9 15. So you pulled into the garage and went into the house at 9 15? Yes, I'm 9. Yes, I looked at my watch and yes, mm -hmm. 9 15.
George has just had a phone call saying that there is a package coming from DHL and I'm really hoping it's the package that mom has sent from home uh, because I'm really excited to see what's in it. Here he comes carrying the package. It looks pretty big. Just got the heavy parcel. Ooh. Can you see? No. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> That's such a nice gift, thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Do you like it? Do you get no, one? I never expected that. <laughs> I would have never expected that. Right now I'm gonna do an outfit of the day because outfit of the evening because me and George are about to go out. So, um, my skirt is from toby.com and my top is the top from my haul earlier on the weekend. It's from Calliope. Oh, Calliope. So I'll just find it right. And my shoes are from Bershka. I don't know if you can see. Can you see my face? There's my face. Oh, not that probably isn't my face. Oh, okay, Sarah. You should really learn how to film yourself.